Hello everyone and welcome to the Raspberry Pi Pico tutorial series using the Sunfounder Kepler kit. Check the link in the description if you want to buy a kit of your own. In this tutorial we will look at how do we receive an input using a typical push button using the Raspberry Pi Pico. There are two ways we can connect and set up a button to the Pico either active low or active high, we will look at both. So to follow along, you will need the following components. A Raspberry Pi Pico, breadboard, a push button and a few wires. This is the circuit for the active high configuration. We have one side of the button connected to the 3.3 volts of the Raspberry Pi Pico and then the other side of the button is connected to GP14. The code and circuit diagrams is available on my website. This is the code for the active high. We start importing the pen class from the machine library and uTime. We then set up GPL14 as a button and here we are using the pen class. We are specifying it as a pen in and here we're gonna say pen pull down so we're gonna keep the state of the button low. Then in our endless loop, if we press the button, the 3.3 volt will flow to the GPL pen 14. So in thus it will pick up a one. And then it will display on the screen, you press the button. We have a U time of sleep one, so we have a one second delay after you press the button. And this is just for debouncing. You will have to change the sleep time, so it will fit your needs. Running the code, we see as soon as we press the button, it will indicate in a shell, you press the button. This is the circuit for the active flow configuration. The code looks identical, the only changes we have made, now we can see GPO 14, we have pen dot pull up, so we are keeping the pen high. So now we are testing if the button goes to low, since the button is connected to ground on the other side. So now if the button goes to low, it will show you press the button. So that in short is how a button work. It is very important for any type of project like a macro keyboard or any project that needs input. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I will see you in the next tutorial.